Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 5th of 2024 is titled Mount Etna Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see Mount Etna, one of the very famous volcanoes. And you can see the material being erupted out of it there. Now, volcanoes are relatively common in our solar system and are not confined to just Earth. We know of volcanoes on Venus and Mars and also many of the moons in the outer solar system that are actually active as well. Now up above the volcano there in the sky we see our Milky Way galaxy. Now that is our spiral galaxy in which we live as we see it from inside. So it's a different perspective than we're used to looking at galaxies. Usually we're used to looking at pictures of galaxies as we're outside looking down on them. And with some spiral uh, galaxies we can see that distinct spiral structure. Now with our galaxy, because we're inside and inside the flattened plane of the galaxy, we see it as this path across the sky that we call the Milky Way. Now we'll see the dark dust clouds there, very prominent, darker dusty areas actually hiding the light from stars. So some of the areas where you see that look rather bright and very crowded with stars toward the middle there, well, the darker areas would have just as many stars. They're simply blocked out because we cannot see the stars through the dust. The dust becomes opaque and blocks out the light. So many of the stars of the Milky Way are actually hidden from us and are not something that we can see. Now around the dust we do see those star clouds the brighter regions there areas where we can see more stars in specific areas. And then we can also see many of the nebulae especially toward the left of center. We see a lot of the bright red hydrogen regions that hydrogen is excited by hot stars when they have formed. And when that happens it, it causes the hydrogen gas to glow similar as to what we do with a neon tube here on Earth. You put intense electricity through that which will ionize the gases and cause them to glow. Well hydrogen does the same thing here when in, exposed to intense ultraviolet light from the stars it will give off the same kind of light and it gives off a very distinct red color so we see our Milky Way here and again we see it a little bit different perspective now essentially everything we see in the sky here is part of our Milky Way the stars that we normally see are the relatively nearby stars within a thousand or a couple thousand light years. They're the close stars to us. The more distant stars we see just become that faint glow of light scattered around the Milky Way. And those could be stars that are tens of thousands of light years away from us. So they're so distant that all we see is that blurred combined light from them, not resolving them into single stars. So we need a telescope to be able to see that. When we look at the Milky Way up on the sky, that's all we see is that combined light from those billions of stars off in the distant parts of the Milky Way. So that was our picture of the day for July 5th of 2024. It was titled Mount Etna Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.